we ma gonna do? Nejo gane bek in the go, gane we kwe in the go. Gai ma kwa ndo dem, mantu boa to gun in donji, tlede dene nishnabe kwe. Laura Horton, indigenous cause, shagana shiomu. Mantu or Mantu Rapids is where I live up in northern Ontario, and I am currently the executive co-chair for the World Indigenous Nations Higher Education Consortium. We uh, uh, sprung from Wipsy in 2002 in Kananaskis and uh, uh, my elder and I, we watched uh, my partner as he laid on the ground signing a charter that spoke about Indigenous people claiming our place in this society in higher education and stating that we would remember who we were, who we are, we would work in our languages and our teachings and that we would move forward as a collective group of indigenous people globally and move forward to, to take our place and say we can do this too because we always have and we will remember how. WENHEC today is a, a vibrant uh, organization covering the globe of primarily English speaking countries and we have uh, members in Canada, the United States, Alaska, Hawaii, New Zealand, Australia, Taiwan, and of course, in Salt Lake. Let's build partnerships, and let's listen to one another. Let's look at one another, and let's with an honest, good heart and good mind, uh, share with each other how we can be the best so that we have the highest education, not just higher education, the highest, best quality everywhere, all the way through. WINHIC provides uh, three different kinds of accreditation uh, processes. Uh, first, for the early childhood to high school, for Indigenous teacher education, and for higher education. These three specific accreditation processes really focus on uh, that Indigenous voice, the articulation of that Indigenous voice in how we look and determine uh, education that is responsive, the accreditation, to the needs of how it's being applied and impacted in our schools, in our institutions, our communities, and our programs. Uh, with uh, the United Nations at the time, uh, uh, over a period of 10 years, forming uh, a, a uh, declaration on the rights of indigenous people that shifted much of the emphasis from direction for education coming from inside the community rather than outside the community. And, and all of that working together of the home, the community, the school as part of the solution for quality education. So all of those voices become a deeper level of commitment in what they're doing in education. I said the whole process is just so empowering and I hear that over and over again. They think they're going for a accreditation of something that they've experienced before and they start to go through the process and they're asking them questions nobody's ever asked of them before and they can think about it and talk about it and re-honor it. It's just so empowering I can't express how uh, wonderful the change I've seen in organizations just by being able to re-honor their own practices. So Six Nations Polytechnic uh, decided to go through the WINHEC accreditation for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, we had gone through provincial accreditation for a language degree because we wanted to be able to offer the degree and have students with a degree that was portable anywhere in the province and the country. So we went through the provincial accreditation, but it really wasn't that helpful in the sense of affirming our knowledge and our priorities in terms of knowing the language and what we thought mattered. And so we looked at the WINHEC accreditation because it's a critical examination of, of Indigenous values and applied to Indigenous learning and Indigenous knowledge systems. So that's why we went through an Indigenous accreditation process, because it meant far more to us than uh, checking the box on other systems. <laughs> 
that's what it's all about. It's tr to try and bring in as much as possible the native thought, you know, your indigenous knowledge, your indigenous, indigenous ways of knowing and teaching and understanding and making it a part of, you know, your educational organization. So um, I think the, the whole part of the process, the uh, accreditation process, um, brought that back to the, the forefront again because, you know, when you're, when you're there and you're teaching and you're working, um, you know, and you've got deadlines to meet and things to do and tests to mark and all of those kinds of things, sometimes that can, that indigenous knowledge, that indigenous thought can sometimes get, you know, sort of not lost, but maybe set aside. And just going through the process of accreditation with WinHEC brought that all back, that this is important, you need to get back on track with that and I, I think that was an important part for myself to uh, to see again through the accreditation process that we need to go back and we need to look at really closely look at how are we doing those things within our classrooms within our 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 teaching uh, within our education system at Six Nations Politics so that was a very important point for me uh, to go back and, and start doing those kinds of things again. Well, one of the, uh, I guess one of the key reasons for WinHEC's existence is that it, is it allows us to, to design, to examine, and to, to teach our education our way. It, um, it is based on long-held values, no matter where you come from, the values that are important to the people who want to engage in education in, a, in an indigenous way. This can't be done at a uh, mainstream institution, no matter how, how much they may, they may say that they have um, indigenous interests at heart. I think that WinHEC is a reminder of our responsibility to be indigenous, to be who we are, to be the people who first settled these lands, whether we're in Canada, New Zealand, Australia, um, we have a responsibility to learn our way so that we understand where we came from, where we're going. Where I come from, there's a saying that if you want to know your future, look behind you. And I think that uh, what WinHEC does is it constantly reminds us that in the narratives of our ancestors are the lessons for what we need to know, taking ourselves forward. I'm presently with WINU, Vice-Chancellor of WINU, World Indigenous Nations University, which grew out of WINHEC, and WINHEC grew out of WIPSI. The doctorates that have been given out are in recognition of the important roles that Indigenous elders and Indigenous uh, educators have had in the reestablishment of indigenous philosophies, indigenous um, cultures, indigenous um, values and ways of knowing and doing in, in their, with respect to their own um, people. So in other words, it's our own recognition of the great contributions that these uh, either educators or knowledge holders have had in raising the educational aspirations of their communities so that we are a well-rounded and complete person, not just all head or all heart, but including the spiritual realm as well. And that is the goal of all of these institutions or organizations that uh, we can stand tall and proud as indigenous people in this 21st century.